I swear to God, fixing a sleep schedule has got to be one of the most annoying things ever, man. Like, I swear to God, dude. If you guys are wondering why I look like I'm dying, it's because I haven't slept yet. But don't worry, man. Your boy's still in here today. We're gonna watch some Demon Slayer bright and early, too, man. I'm not late today. Actually, the episode just came out, like, 20 minutes ago. So, we're about to see, you know, we're about to see what the fuck is about to go on, man. Um, Last episode, Gutaro came out of Daki. Pause. So yeah, Gutaro is Daki's big brother. Uh, and basically, he had to come save the day because Tengen legitimately just one-shotted her after Nezuko legitimately just laid out the fucking floor with her, bro. I'm talking like fucking throwing her through buildings, fucking her up, burning her face and all that stuff. Daki had no other choice but to fucking whine and just say, yo, big brother, come save my ass because these people are bullying me, man. And I'm gonna keep it real. That man, Gutaro, looked like he's the real deal. He got these cool-ass weapons. Like, they're like little blood sickle things i think those are super dope even tengen's like oh shit you know like Daki, you know i didn't sense any danger from her really but when it comes to guitar i'm like okay that dude's kind of fucking me up a little bit you know he cut tanking and stuff he said all right this shit ain't gonna be a walk in the park i'm actually gonna have to try for this but honestly like i said i still like our chances that we have fighting uh Daki and Gutaro. like i get it like Gutaro is supposed to be like the i guess the actual upper six um, so Tengen himself, he's probably gonna have to deal with that shit, bro. Maybe, you know, some help from Tanjiro here and there. Or, you know, maybe Tanjiro and Osuke, the wives and shit like that as they need to. We gotta go take care of Daki. But, yeah, Gutaro and Tengen, <laughs> you guys gotta go settle that shit on your own, you feel me? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna figure out exactly what the hell is gonna happen with this battle, man. I'm hyped, bro. Hopefully I don't pass out on camera because I still gotta record Attack on Time today. Oh boy. So yeah, without further ado, guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, man. You already know the deal, man. It really helps the boy a lot, but nonetheless, let's get it. Honestly, Demon Slayer has been on a roll with the most recent episodes, so yo, I'm I'm super excited to see exactly, you know, how this escalates even more. Because last episode was crazy. You know, I gotta keep it real, Tanjo. Does does the blood seeping into your eyes not bother you at all? Like you don't gotta, you know, like itch your eyes or anything like that. Like that man's just perfectly fine. That man Tanjo's like, I can still move. He has this big ass fuck big ass fucking cut in his goddamn torso right here, dude. I'm excited to see exactly what Tangan got, bruh. I'm excited to see exactly what happens when he's pushed to the brink. Like he actually has to try hard as fuck because the little glimpses that we saw in the last episode went crazy also the episode is called gathering this man gutaro is still jealous about this man for having three wives uh, yeah you do you do look like you have a lot of fucking talent man do you look at yourself in the mirror hey oh that's kind of interesting so we get to see gyome and uh muichiro mentioned that's dope i can't be like rengoku okay this yo the visual's already going kind of going kind of insane oh fuck we're getting poisoned i don't know bro tengen you, you said that shit doesn't affect you bro the fucking head's turning purple out here the art in the presentation man premium oh damn the master he looking nice okay i'm just gonna pause it right here right now tengen you better shut the fuck up with this yo you know i'm never you know, like, I would never hesitate to lay my life down. The man is not looking good right now. He's looking kind of rough. You know, I would say that man is kind of pushing it a little bit. He's sweating. He's kind of talking a big game right now. Oh, the poison doesn't affect me. He's, you know, he's bleeding. Tangin, bro, please let us not have another Rengoku here, bro. Please, I, I beg, man. Come on, dude. God, yeah, I'm not I'm not ready for this shit. Like, we just started fighting right now, dude. And we're already, like, you know, looking rough. <laughs> Yo, yeah, okay, come on, Tengen, I like that. Ooh, god damn. He's got a sauce up on him real quick. Damn, they really got to hit us with the 2v1 right now, huh? <laughs> Yo, damn, Ducky got her head cut off again. Ooh, we're getting close. Ooh, oh, yeah, the chain. That's dope. That's dope as fuck. See that man's grip strength? He's holding the sword like that. Ducky, just get good. You got to sit out, bro. You got to gotta sit on the bench or something. Because you ass. What do you mean? Look in the mirror. You ass. Bro, uh, uh, just just let Big Brother take care of it. Honestly, you just going to get one shot at each time you try to go at Tengen. I'm keeping it, uh, keeping it 100. Hey, we got the backup right now. Let's get it. Okay. Our chances are going up. Tengen being poisoned, though. I'm not going to lie. I didn't see that coming. So it, that's a big, you know, that's a big hit to our probability of actually beating them right now. And of course, the main man, Tanjiro. That boy gotta show up. I don't know if he can use the Hinokami because his eyes are fucked up right now, but hey, I guess we're about to see. The wives are coming through too. That's dope. Let's get it. Come on. Damn, you're telling me we're already halfway or we already have the intermission screen right there? Bro, where's the time going? I'm, I'm like, Tengen, he's looking kind of crazed right now. I like the look. See, dude, like this fight isn't fair, man. We're, we're both 
uh, Tanjiro and Tane right now are, are basically like nerf. We got like hella debuffs on us. For some reason. Hey, Suguko. Hey, hey. Last time, you know, last time we were Rengoku Suguko. Shit didn't really end well. Do not be throwing these flags right now, Tengen, that you actually like us right now, dude. You're gonna end up breaking my heart. I'm not trying to have that happen. Hey! Uh, Tanjiro's starting to see a little bit of Rengoku's spirit with Tengen. That's dope. It doesn't seem as dire right now. Like, you know, like, obviously Tengen has a different personality, but he seems to be joking a lot. That man said need to. He's, it's time, dude. That man's had it. A thunderclap and flash. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, okay. Chill. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Zen needs to. You about to go fuck up Ducky like that. Okay, go ahead. He really got to hit her with the first form. Thunderclap and flash. This is kind of funny, though, because, like, Daki's been calling Zenitsu like ugly as shit. Yeah, Daki, I'm not gonna lie. You squeezed her ear hard as fuck. This girl, Daki, is still on the ugly type beat right now. She has a problem with, with insulting people's physical appearances, man. Daki, you gotta get that checked out. Okay, so now they're starting to talk in like unison right now. No, don't tell me she gets another Zen guy boost. Okay, this shot is pretty fucking dope. Tengen does not look amused, man. That boy's in hitting different right now, huh? Holy fuck. Fuck that dude is fast. Uh, Tanjiro. Ooh. Oh, Tengen had to come through clutch. Okay, I feel you. Okay, things are getting hectic. Okay, so about, I was about to say, like, where did Nosuke go? <laughs> Bro, Nosuke's like, yo, just shut up already, please. There was a lot of things happening right now. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I can I can see the budget is going up right now. I, before my eyes. Holy shit. Dude, dude, there's so much shit right now. Ooh, Tanjiro coming clutch. Okay, I feel you. Hey, time for some water breathing, dude. Very refreshing to see. Sound breathing, fifth form. Stream performance. What the fuck? I'm gonna keep it real. I'm kind of, I'm kind of speechless right now, man. Like, I'm thinking like there's no way they can outdo themselves each and every time. But you foldable, bro. I like the way Tengen fights. It's, it's super dope. The chains and stuff. I can't really tell with the sound breathing though. Like I guess there's not like a really like a visual thing, but I don't know. His fighting style is really dope though. Recovery breathing. We got a heal out here. Wives, help, help me, please. Damn. Okay. D damn. She came through with the. The arrows on deck. Oh, the kunai. My bad. And hey, we got that opening real quick. Tell me there's an antidote in those. That'd be the dopest shit. Ooh, okay. We cut his legs off. That's really smart. Yo? There's no way Tanjiro's gonna cut his head off, though. He seems too happy right now. Yo, Demon Slayer, stop getting my hopes up. I know it's not gonna happen, bro. Fuck off. Fuck off with that, dude. I don't know if it was just me, but this episode felt even shorter than the last one bro like for me the tone of this episode was kind of weird at some points like especially in the beginning when like when like uh they were they were basically tell, telling Tengen and this is probably just his personality coming through obviously he doesn't want to say like oh I'm actually fucked up right now with this poison things are a little dire I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and protect everybody he was kind of making a lot of jokes and stuff and like that and like he was kind of ha he has this like weird banter um chemistry with Daki where they kind of like I don't know like if this was in some alternate reality they would actually be friends you know like they have this weird banter chemistry dude um but yeah dude like <laughs> that was kind of funny uh this episode like I said it felt short most of the episode I didn't really know what to say because like there was just so much shit with the fight so I was just kind of like I was just watching, man. I was just fucking enjoying it. Hold on, that man Tengen got a call on Rengoku right now. He's like, yo, Rengoku, I don't know what to do, bro. You really got to hit me with this, huh? Wow, this is this is wholesome as hell, dude. Next, episode nine, defeating an upper rank demon. Defeating an upper rank demon, huh? I guess eventually we would have to defeat an upper rank, but damn, they, this, they just decided to say, fuck it. We're just going to tell you what happens in the next episode. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I kind of figured that, like, okay, we got to get a W here, there. You know, uh, Yutaro and Daki, they're they're the lower... Well, I don't, not the lower. They're the lowest of the upper moon. So uh, if we had a chance to defeat an upper moon, it's probably going to be them. But god damn, dude. They really got to title it Defeating an Upper Rank Demon. Come the fuck on. See, everybody, this episode was dope as hell. Like, holy shit, man. Uh, like I said, you photoable... I don't really understand how they do it. I know the tax evasion money's getting put to good use, but like, holy shit, bruh. Like, it, it's so cinematic. It's so 
ah it's just it's so good man it, the animation is so good obviously you photobull they just don't miss with that man but like it's just something about it like it takes it to the next level to where it's like it just always seems like a movie with these with these like final fights man and it just always seems like a movie right now bro like it's just so cinematic it just seems so realistic um it, it just looks so dope i don't know the like the art the 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 angles with the cameras and stuff like it just looks so fucking phenomenal but yeah this is kind of what i figured was gonna happen where like Doki and and gutaro are kind of gonna be splitting a little bit i mean like Doki is helping with gutaro a little bit you know with the fabric and, and whatnot but it's like tengen and tanjiro versus gutaro really and then inosuke and uh zenitsu are trying to fend off Doki right now so um yeah I guess we'll figure out in the next episode if Tanjo's going to be able to cut off uh, Gitaro's head. I'm going to keep it real. I don't think he's going to be able to. It would be dope if Tanjo does land the finishing blow, but I feel like Tengen is going to do that for some reason. I do feel like Tengen's going to do that because Tanjo, like I said, he's he even said like that dude is like on his final breath right now. Like that dude is like literally on the verge of passing out. Tengen himself, he's on the verge of fucking collapsing because of the poison, but... I honestly think that uh, Tengen, he's going to be fine. I don't think he's going to die or anything like that. They were kind of like playing that card. and like, oh, lay down my life for the master. I'm getting flashbacks of, you know, Rengoku right now. Oh, I, oh, I actually like Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu. I see them as my Suguko. All that stuff, man. I see the warning signs, but I feel like it's just bait. I feel like Tengen's uh, going to be just fine. But yeah, guys, like I said, a solid ass episode. Make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe before heading out. It really helps the board a lot. But nonetheless, everybody, I guess I'll see you when the next episode drops. Because we're going to defeat an upper rank moon. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. But I'll see you next time, man. It's been Dubai Ivory, and I'm out. Peace.